We will discuss on some uh, more complicated uh, K-maps and uh, develop some strategies for those. Let's have a K-map, four variable K-map that has terms like this. So as you see, there are a lot of ones, which is fine. We'll deal with it one one at a time. And you see here, uh, I would when you see a lot of terms like that, I would focus on the ones that are that can only be covered in one circle. So look at this one, for example, here. This one. This can only be covered with this one. So let's do that as our first step. If you look at others, these are adjacent to each other, but they also are adjacent to this ones. So let's not complicate it yet. And also this one, this one, this poor one can only be covered with this one. So let's write those terms. This is A not B C. Then we have this one A B not C is changing, so it's going to be D. So now Now we can look at the other ones that we have not covered. So these ones, one, 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 there's the four. That's a nice one, and we can cover four of them at the same time. So we can take that one. That's good. Then we can add it here. A and B are all changing, so it's going to be C not D not. Now the problem is with those, these two. Although we can do these like simple like circle this two or this two, there is another opportunity. We can actually take this one with this, this, and these two, then that will make a four term terminal, four term circle, which will give you a better, sh uh, simpler uh, function. And that's going to be A is not changing, so it's going to be A not, B is changing. C is changing, 0 and 1, and D is not changing. So, and there is another one here that we can take this one to cover only for this, this one. And it's going to be A is changing, B is not changing, C is changing, and D is not changing. So here is your function. Another one is, again, looks uh, kind of complicated. A lot of ones. Again, I would look at those terms that you re really have to cover first. And this one here, we have to cover this because there is no other option for that. For this one as well, Talking about this one, this one, and this one. They don't have any other options to cover. So now we can write all these terms A not, C not, D not, or A, C not, D, or a not C D or A C D not. So now the only terms, the ones that are left is here, here, and here. So for these two, it's easy because we see these four. Although we circled the other twos before, doesn't matter. We can still circle. So we will have a simpler one. So it's going to be A, B, not. Now we have only one term left, which is this one. So you can cover it with this and this one, or this one, or this one. But hey, there is another one. Actually, it creates a square. Is this one 
it does create a square because it's these are adjacent to each other and here a is changing so a is gonna go b is not changing so it's gonna be b not c is changing and d is not changing so this way now we know these these terms another way a different way of doing k maps is the don't cares when we say don't care which we say usually x that means that particular term can be 0 or 1 depending on how you want so let's look at the k map that looks like this so when we look at this we can or we don't have to cover some x's but maybe they will help us if you look at these two ones here this one and this one we can make a nice square here by assuming these x's are one so it's gonna be a simpler function that's gonna be no it's not gonna be a b d and then now we need to take this one the only adjacent term is a don't care well we can use that it's gonna be a not c, uh, c not d and then now we have these ones and x well since this can be covered with this one or this one but I have to cover this one anyway so I'll take that and uh, I'll leave that other x not covered which is fine as long as it's only x so it's gonna be a b not c uh, 